yesterday I uh, was in here harvesting all of the potatoes that were in this bed. Basically moved the whole bed over, harvested it all, and then uh, replanted the ones that looked like they were still going to grow some more of the potatoes. So I did half the bed in potatoes, and the other half was the sweet potato slips that had been growing in that corner. So I was able to fill half of the bed with sweet potato slips. Um, so we got sweet potatoes now, and still some potatoes growing. We got... I planted originally about between four and five pounds of potatoes, a mix of Yukon Golden Russet, and I harvested about uh, 14 pounds of potatoes out of there, so not terrible. Um, this garden bed is growing okay. I've got to get them all watered today. Um, the, you can see the watermelon's starting to run there and there. That one's not running yet, that pumpkin, but this pumpkin is starting to run. Right over this way. And this pumpkin is starting to run that way. So, pumpkin's okay. Um, peppers are doing okay. Um, not sure what color these peppers are supposed to end up, but some of them are turning black. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's all transplant shock because a lot of them had peppers on them when we planted them. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Sorry about that. Bit of a sneezing fit there. Uh, anyways, this, this is the second garden bed that I planted and it's the one that's been doing the best. It's been growing almost a month longer than the one I was just showing. Um, but it's got zucchini growing real good. Um, zucchini, tomatoes, yellow squash. It's got watermelon that's starting to form some watermelons. It's got butternut that's starting to form butternuts. Um, these two cabbages have not been doing anything. I think it's too hot for them, but I've left them there. Uh, just to leave them there basically and I just noticed I'm going to have to deal with that that it looks like a whole colony of squash bugs on that one leaf so I'll probably just cut that leaf off and get those squash bugs away from the garden alright so tomatoes we harvested about a dozen tomatoes yesterday all just the little cherry and grape tomatoes. I swear. <laughs> there. I don't know if you can see it. About once a week I get a little plane that flies over. And the last couple times it's flown over has been when I'm taking a video. Yeah, well. I think I might have one or two yellow squash to pick today. Okay, on this side I got cucumbers running out into the uh, um, walkway. Sorry. Uh, cucumbers, watermelon, peas. I don't think there's any going to do much of that anymore. Uh, and then down this way, more zucchini, yellow. When we had the temperatures getting up in the high 90s for a week, the zucchini slowed down a bit with its new production. So it's been, um, the last few days we haven't picked very much because a week ago it wasn't producing new zucchinis. Now it's producing new zucchinis again since the weather cooled back down a little and uh, so in the next few days, we'll start picking more, I'm sure. Okay, and then on to garden, the first garden bed I built. This one has been the worst of all. And I think the biggest issue with it is there's not enough dirt on top of all the boards that are in it, all the wood that's in it. It definitely was the issue right here where nothing would grow. 
because that, you know, I had thrown some dimensional lumber in and I thought I had buried everything in there with wood chips about six inches before the dirt. Well, this had that board, maybe a half an inch of wood chips. So just like one thin layer of wood chips over the top of it and then a half an inch of dirt. So there was nothing to hold the roots or the, anyways, so this is the only bed I did any dimensional lumber in and I didn't do a lot of it. There was only like five or six board or pieces like that in there. Mostly it's logs and wood chips. But uh, yeah, just that was a bad spot for sure. Um, but it was, anyways, it's so it's been growing a little bit of stuff here and there, just not much of anything. So uh, still has a couple of cabbages and a couple of broccolis. That, and this is the other spot actually that the tomatoes doing okay. This tomato right here seems to be just a really low. Um, I don't have a tomato cage. It probably would have grown taller if I put a tomato cage on it. But it's just staying as like a, almost a ground cover, uh, just low to the ground, producing. It's heavy with tomatoes, and it's you know, but they're just those little red grape tomatoes or whatever. You call them just not quite a cherry tomato. Cause it's not little and round. It's yeah, basically a grape tomato. A uh, small tomato that's shaped like a grape. Um, that's about it for the garden. Um, other than, I guess, over here, I've got one lick tub bed that's... I still have a potato growing in there. So I had a potato that was sprouting after I planted the potato bed, and I put it in there, and it's got a lot of uh, foliage on it but it's only been in there about a month, so I really got about two more months before I do anything with it. And then in here, I started, I was trying to start a compost pile, and it's more wood chips than anything, so who knows if it's even breaking down in the middle or high enough volume to do anything. Uh, the wood chips are falling out, so I got cardboard and was gonna do a ring of cardboard, and then uh, before I got back to fill it, or you know, ring a cardboard around and then fill it the rest of it with the grass clippings and wood chips. Before I got back to add to it, I had set a tomato in it, and a few days later I went to move the tomato, and the roots from the tomato plant had grown down into the compost pile. So I just left it there and just let the cardboard fall in around it, and I've been watering it. And, um, there's a piece of potato in there that's growing next to it, so I'm just going to let that do what it does, uh, and I will pull that apart at the end of the season when I'm done with that tomato and potato, and, and uh, then I will use those wood chips to cover up more of the garden. So I'm sure they'll be broken down a little bit, and I will start over with a better compost pile this fall. Yeah, that's, I think, going to be the plan with that. Uh, anyway, it's just a quick garden update. Nothing really to harvest right now. I can see, but there will be stuff. I do need to take care of those squash bugs and get that leaf that's covered with them out of here. Try and remove a bunch of the squash bugs from the garden. Ah, I just noticed there's a watermelon. All right.